welcome back to another video. This is just a uh, um, update on the Alaska earthquake. I normally do this with the larger earthquakes that are like above 6.0 that has hit uh, large populated areas and could have caused damage, death, and things like that. So, and I'm just using Deadline.com for this one. And well, just Steve, yeah, TV stations off air. 7.0 Tembler, which aftershocks tsunami, tsunami warning canceled, which is good, which I figured it would have. So updated with Trump, Donald Trump tweet. Okay, so there might be some politics involved. So either way, a magnitude 7.0 earthquake rocked coastal Anchorage, Alaska at 8:30 a.m local time but for me being in 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 the Ohio well, in the Ohio Valley it would be Eastern time zone which would be 12:30 p.m. for me so either way badly damaging homes buildings and infrastructure and for forcing local TV stations off the air according to reports numerous aftershocks continue to hit the region some felt up to 350 miles away, and the federal government canceled a tsunami warning that was issued earlier. So that's good. So, yeah. CBS affiliates, KT, no, KTVA TV, was reporting from the city using Facebook Live with, with staff saying the news room flooded and the ceiling caved in. One staffer reported having difficulty breathing from all the chemicals and debris in the building as they evacuated. Watch CBS live coverage of the earthquake and its aftermath below. Alaska Governor, I'll cover that real quick, has declared the Anchorage region a disaster. P President Trump was briefed in the situation and tweeted this. To the great people of Alaska, you have been hit by a big one. I don't know why he put that in quotations. I doubt he's been in a bit in large, large earthquakes, being mostly a, on the East Coast. So, I really doubt he's been in anything larger than a four, maybe five. So... He obviously doesn't always talk about, but either way, please follow the directions of the highly trained professionals who are there to help you. Your federal government government will will spare no expense. God bless you all. Yeah, kind of like, yeah, spare no expense. I was saying that I'm not sure that's um, low key. Of like they're actually gonna help out, or they're not gonna gonna spend shit on us. <coughs> but I don't honestly don't care. This is why I try to keep politics out of it. It's just going to cause a lot of drama. But either either way, CNN is reporting that all local TV and radio stations were knocked off the air. Uh, the network's Brooke Baldwin interviewed a 37-year-old Anchorage resident via phone who said it shook like I never felt anything shake before. It just kept going and it got louder and louder. It's horrible, absolutely horrible. <coughs> Power was knocked out in at least the eastern part of Alaska's most populous city, where the sun had yet to rise, but outages are said to be isolated. Video showed fires burning in the area, and local police are confirming major damage to homes, businesses, and infrastructure, but no injuries or deaths have been reported, which is the bright side. No one died, no one got hurt, except for maybe someone had an asthma attack with the chemical but That's probably about the worst of it. But either way, the quake was about 29 miles deep and centered about 5 miles north of the city near the joint base Elmendorf-Richardson, according to the Alaska Earthquake Center. It was a very sharp quake, An Anchorage Mayor Ethan... Berkowitz told MSNBC's Katie Tour, We live in a very 
active fault zone. This is one of the benefits of living in the north. There is always something interesting happening. Casey Scorm, a reporter for CBS affiliate KTVA TV, treated a photo of her, st of her station's wrecked newsroom. Which, yeah. They're probably going to be off the air for a while. Like, KTVA's newsroom, newsroom felt the blow of the earthquake this morning. Well, TV reporter Heather Hintz tweeted video of the Tumblr of the earthquake shot inside a courtroom. This is what happened on the sixth floor of the Nesbet Courthouse during the Anchorage earthquake. Both attorneys jumped after the, under their desks, evacuated the building after the shaking stop, which is good because <coughs> don't know about gas leaks and things like that. Alaska is the top trending topic on Twitter worldwide. Images from the region show buckled highways and sinkholes. FFA said the control tower at Ted Stevens Anchorage International Airport had been evacuated and inbound flights diverted. Only a few departures are reported. And those are from auxiliary runways. The Alaska Pipeline, which carries crude oil from the region of Valdez Marine Terminal in the Gulf of Alaska's Prince William Sound, which I am pretty sure that's a typo, Alaxa, yeah, had been shut down as a precaution. Located in a so-called Ring of Fire, Anchorage is a hotbed for quake activity. The city... Which Location, I, three kilometers south-southeast of Big Lake, Alaska, class, minor, magnitude, 2.0, five minutes ago. Which includes that. That's an aftershock, so. The city, which now has nearly 300,000 residents, was hammered by a giant 9.2 earthquake in 1964, which is actually the uh, strongest earthquake recorded in North America. By comparison, today's 7.0 earthquake released three to four times more energy than the magnitude 6.7 Northridge event in 1994. Here's a CBS News live coverage and a map of the affected area below. So here we are now. And well, yeah, that's essentially what's going on here. So with that, that's it. Just gonna get out of here. Clear any notifications while well, I may include a microquake in the area. Yep, it's 1.6. <coughs> it's been swarming ever since. Actually, there's probably like a 3.5 precursor in Healy, Alaska. But that happened way too deep for me to really cover and all that stuff, so reason for lack of video there but either way 1.6 magnitude earthquake at three kilometers north northeast of big lake alaska happened at 135 136 a.m eastern standard time and a depth of 41.3 kilometers not much else going with this earthquake but either way just gonna see about any other notifications and see you in the next video bye